Ivan here from Anything Pixels. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a lightsaber. And um, yeah, I'm not using any plugins, so it might, it takes a bit longer, but it comes out quite well. Uh, I'm going to speed up some of the parts in the tutorial just to make it a bit shorter. But I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is create a new composition. You can name it what you want. I'm just going to call mine Saber. Frame rate, 30 frames per second is great. And I've put mine to 11 seconds because I know the video is only 10 seconds. Background color, that doesn't matter. And click OK. So right, once you've got it here, it just you want to import your video that you made yourself. So I'm going to go to Import, File and Saber Footage. And once I've got that, I'm just going to drag it down there. And you can see it's here. Let me just fit it. And let's see what it looks like. I'm just going to change the quality so it goes a bit quicker. Hitting spacebar. Just seeing how it's going. And you can see there it's looking pretty boring. Okay, so what we want to do, let's go back to the beginning of our timeline. We want to create a new layer. So right click in there new and a new solid layer and I'm going to call it Sabre layer okay color doesn't matter but I'm just going to keep it white for the minute and okay so you can see you've got it there push in this eye icon just hide it so you can see the actual footage and what you want to do you want to go forwards to where you can see the Sabre start showing so let's go to there okay so now with the saber layer selected you want to go to your mask tool oh, hold on. let me just zoom in here a bit first so we can see it properly and i'm going to change the preview to full just to make it a bit better quality for you guys okay so back to the pen tool because you want to create a mask now so make sure you have the saber layer selected and you just want to make a mask of where it is okay just like that so you can see there the solid layer if we turn it back on it's only that little white spot there okay i'm just going to go to my move tool just move it slightly okay now with that done what you need to do is go to click the the button there for your mask and go down to the mask and you want to create a keyframe for the mask path okay don't forget to do that because this is the second time i've done this because i forgot to click this button and my mask didn't follow my saber so i had to do it all over again so that was a bit of time wasted so click in the mask path you'll see there it's created a keyframe so every time you move uh, the mask it will create a new keyframe so i'm just going to do move two keyframes at a time just to show you and then what you do so you can see they're all selected here we don't want them all selected so hold down shift and just unselect the ones you don't want and you want to keep moving it around actually let me turn that layer off so i can't see the whiteness so i can see what i'm doing and just pulling these around following the saber around the way the saber is moving, so this side you want to keep exactly on the saber, and this side you want to keep a, li a little bit of a flare going behind it, because it's not a solid saber, it creates kind of like a light trail behind it. Okay, so I'm just using page down. You can either go one frame or two frames at a time. Some people go five to ten frames at a time, because the mask does follow it, but I prefer just doing two frames because there's a lot of movement in here um, so we want to catch all the moves as we can if you see the saber start slowing down don't create as much of a light flare behind it uh, or else it'll look a bit strange okay so i'm just doing page down twice and that's creating those uh, keyframes over there Okay, well, I'm going to speed it up here because I'm sure you don't want to watch me doing this the whole way. And then 
at the end I'll show you what next to do. Okay. Okay, so I've almost completed it now. Um, as you can see, it takes a very long time. You can see all the keyframes in the, the timeline panel down at the bottom there. It takes absolutely ages, but that's that's the, the worst part of it. Um, it's going to get a bit better now, a lot more interesting. And I'm going to show you exactly how it looks. Okay, let me just do it couple more here. I won't go right to the end of the video. Okay, let's do one more. And there we go. Okay, so if we want to play that back, let's go back to the, the beginning of the frame, of the timeline, sorry. We'll enable that so we can see the actual lightsaber itself and let me go to fit over here so you can see it and i'll just reduce the quality okay so you can see there it's looking all right it's not great but it's following the saber correctly okay so let's go back to the beginning we don't have to go to the beginning actually we can just go over here we can go anywhere what you want to do now, you want to, let me just drop that down. What you want to do now is create a, another solid. So let's create a new solid. And this one, I'm going to make it black so we can see the saber properly. Okay. And you want to drag it between your two layers. So now you can see the saber just moving by itself. Okay. And now you want to add the glow to the, the saber. This is the fun part. So you want to go click on the saber layer and you want to duplicate it. Uh, you can do it three or four times, up to you. So control and D, one, two, three, four. Okay, so starting on the top layer, well, let's just select all these. Hold down shift and click the bottom one. Okay, and push M and it will bring up your, your masks on all the layers. And with all of them selected, uh, actually, you want to deselect them all. So just click on anyone. Okay, so for this feather, let's make that four. And then the, the next one, we can make, let's say, let's make the ten. And then, and then thirty. This one, let's make it 60. And then the last one, let's make that 120. Okay, there are faster ways to do that. Sorry about that. Um, I pushed the wrong key along the way. Let me just minimize all of these so we can see them. There we go. Okay, so now that we've actually masked, masked it, uh, feathered it, sorry. We can see how that looks, and that looks a lot better, like an actual saber itself. You can see that going around there. Okay, we want to create a new composition. So, with the black solid, hold down shift and select the top layer. You want to right click and create pre compose. Now, let's call this saber final or whatever you want to call it. And then now you can see that it's got the black here. You want to right click and go up to the blend styles, uh, blend mode, sorry, change it to screen. And you can see that on there now. So I'll show you how that looks. And then we're going to show you how the, the actual, you have to change the color of it, which is pretty easy and is a part of the fun. Okay, I'll go back there. So now in your effects and presets, if you can't see that, go up to window and go down to effects and presets. Just type in your curves and your color correction. There are a few, couple curves, but you want to go to the color correction and curves. Add it to the layer itself. And you can change the color as you like. You can even choose um, the, the different 
the channels if you want sorry and I'm going to make mine whoops yeah I think the blue looks good okay so if we put that onto full you can see there we have our saber oh, it's not going to play properly because it's on full let's change it to half there we go well i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to hit that like button the subscribe button i've got many more to come i really hope you enjoyed this please stay tuned thank you very much